Yo, what's going on guys? The Just Nate here, and I'm bringing you some more Black Ops 2 gameplay, and we're talking about Black Ops 3. If you missed my previous video, it's going to be the second one on my channel right behind this one. And it's where I told you guys that I played Black Ops 3 early in a closed alpha, and there wasn't many people online at a time, so I couldn't really give you um, a definitive answer on the connection. It did feel pretty good considering there wasn't that many people online. You know, like I said, it was a good 40 or 50 people online, probably at once. Um, with, you know, peak hours, there's probably a hundred people playing. Definitely wasn't a lot of people, and we played this mosh pit, and it was pretty fun. It's, I'm not going to lie, it's very fast-paced, but it's very controllable. Um, you know, I'm not sure how it's going to be once the real community gets its hands on it. We'll definitely see in the beta. But there's a lot of concerns, and, you know, I asked you to leave some questions about the game and the previous video and you guys delivered so number one mike gibson he says on a scale of one the figs how bad was the con the constant lag and not gonna lie there was some lag sometimes but i'm seriously gonna chalk that up to the fact that there wasn't many people online so like i said i don't know what the actual lag is going to be i know that they, they said that they're supposed to be focusing on the connections and the hit detections and you know getting shot around corners and stuff like that but i'm not sure i'm not going to believe it until i see it so Next one, da, 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 da. is there a sniper like the Ballista L96 or Intervention? There was a sniper, it's called the Locust, and it's going to be pretty much the primary sniper, I think. It was pretty powerful, it's about as powerful as the DSR, it shot you one shot kill from, it said the ribs up, but it felt like the belly button or, you know, even the groin up. And I'm not sure about the arms or anything, I didn't really have time to sit there and shoot AFK players or anything like that, because there's no private lobbies in the in the build that I played. So I'm not 100% sure on that, but it did reload like the Ballista, it felt like the Ballista mixed with the Kraber Sniper from Titanfall. It definitely scoped in different, and it had the dual rendered sight that they introduced in Ghost and kept in Advanced Warfare. There's no black around the edges or anything like that, and it's going to take a while to get used to. And, you know, there were a bunch of hit markers, and I'm not sure if it's going to be super overpowered. I, I think the worst part is not going to be getting one shot all the time. It's going to be shooting someone and they just quick scope you through their shots. You know, that happened a lot. I was watching my friend play, and he's pretty good with the sniper, but it was, it was crazy. He got shot, and he would just, you know, continue scoping in and dome piece someone from, you know, a good 30 meters away. So I'm a little worried about that. I don't like that. That's the thing that annoyed me most in Black Ops 2. Uh, but next question, it says, does the thrust booster, or the EXO in quotation marks, actually bring you to a disadvantage in a gunfight? Now this is very interesting. This is going to pretty much make or break the game. It's going to be the thrust jumping and the specialist. Those are going to be the two big things that I feel are going to make and break the game besides you know, the connection and gun balance. Um, when you thrust jump, it is pretty slow. It's not you know slow slow it's faster than just jumping um it honestly did feel like titanfall and destiny mixed i think oh man it might have been the warlock where you kind of glided up and it wasn't just zero to 100 like advanced warfare it's very controlled if you see someone jumping it's gonna it's gonna happen a lot you're gonna see someone jump around a corner or jump to a second floor it's very easy to you know track them and shoot them you're not gonna miss a crap ton of bullets or anything like that i felt like in advanced warfare you could shoot someone and then they could just you know jump and dodge out of the way super quick and it's really hard to kill someone once they got in the air and they kind of had the advantage on you and so the the whole game was pretty much just a bunch of jumping people all over the place and I didn't really like it. it wasn't very controlled and not to mention that I didn't really like the maps in advanced warfare but in black ops 3 you know I, I know a lot of people have said they're classic three lane maps they definitely feel classic uh, you know they're very predictable spawns I don't think that there's gonna be a ton of like spawn trapping unless you're in a objective game it's gonna feel just like black ops 2 um, there were some good maps there were some average maps I didn't play a horrible map I just played with, uh, it, you know, since there was so few people, it was always three and three on three, you know, five on four. There was never really a six v six game mode um, because there's just so few people in the lobbies. So I can't really tell you how the map flow really, really works. But from my experience, I thought it was pretty good. So there's that. You know, the the movements are. You know, I mean, the maps are built around the movements. There's a, a few places where you could wall run. I mean, you could wall run on any flat surface, but it's not really going to give you an advantage. They're mostly just to, you know, transport you from place to place. They don't really make you win a gunfight or anything like that. They're kind of on the sides of the maps, out of the way. So, da 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 da. Alright, so the next question is Is the special bar thing like Destiny special overpowered? 
like with the ground pound one does it wreck in, in like in destiny basically are the special things op so that was kind of a confusing question um he's pretty much asking if the specialists are going to be overpowered like the ground pound one where you could just whip out your gravity spikes and slam to the ground i know in destiny you pretty much became invincible i think when you were the titan and you just kind of ran towards a group of people you clicked your special ability buttons and you just smashed everyone and everyone within that radius died instantly you know there's really no countering it you couldn't really kill them in midair at least when i played destiny they may have patched it by now but in advanced warfare that specialist totally sucked because you just shoot him he jumps up in the air really slow and then slams down fast and if you see him coming he's dead you know he's not really going to kill you that often unless he jumps out of a window or sneaks up behind you now if he does get his attack you know actually um done without getting killed if he does you know throw his gravity spikes down he will have a ton of force he's going to kill everyone in his you know 10 15 foot radius there's a big blast radius for that but from what i've seen it wasn't too bad but there are some specialists that are just completely overpowered i think it's like blatantly overpowered um for one is the specter guy he has the little minigun out of his arm that hip fire is just so tiny and the the fire rate and the damage is just so high Woo, my voice cracks one of my 12 um and you just die instantly all the time and it's it's really crazy i felt like i was playing ghost a few times and that's that's the thing that's going to bother me the most i feel if they don't change it it was super overpowered um so you're just like on a good streak you're about to get your wraith which is pretty much the stealth chopper from black ops 2 and you just get mowed down by this death machine guy sitting in a window and it's just really annoying because everyone gets their special abilities which I guess makes it fun for the newbie players, but I hate when games ca uh, cater to noobs. I think that in basically it's just like no matter how many times you die, you're going to get it, your your special ability. But if you don't die, if you kill people and capture objectives, object blah, 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 objectives you'll get it faster. But I think that's kind of lame. I think if you die, it should definitely reset. That way you're not just seeing a bunch of people uh, using the death machine all the time and just killing people off their streaks when they're trying to play with their regular guns and stuff like that um there are some really really lame ones like the second chance one i think it's called rejack it's so stupid i don't know what the developers are thinking basically as you're falling down after you've died you can press the button and the screen cloud of smoke will appear and you'll just get up and run away just like second chance and it's, it's not like you're just going to get up and kill people but it's just super annoying just like second chance was where you have to stay there wait for him to stand up and run away and then shoot him again and that's probably going to get you killed by someone else and that's just super annoying then there's these little bees that you could just stick to the wall they're pretty much like ieds but then once you run past them they're pretty much impossible to get away from they just chase you down and kill you and yeah that was really stupid but there were some times where the other ones actually were, felt useful and they didn't feel overpowered um, so we'll see. We'll see how they tweak it by the time the beta comes out and then by the time the game actually comes out. That one's another one about the specialist abilities. So Embattled King says, do you think it'll have the staying power, meaning fun to play, even past the cycle? So he's pretty much saying, are we going to actually play this for a year or even more than that? I mean, we've been playing Black Ops 2 for three years because the previous Call of Duty's Ghost and Advanced Warfare haven't had that staying power, at least to me. I know there are fans of both games, but not for me or the general Call of Duty audience. So I don't know. It's going to be dependent on how the community plays. The developers have made a game that they absolutely love. They put their heart and soul into. You can tell that they actually took their time and man i don't know it's just up to the community because it feels fair and balanced when i play with you know people that aren't dicks but you know how the community can be you know they're just pretty much full of dicks just like kim kardashian but yeah so it depends on the community if we play how they want us to play it'll be a fine game it was very fun stuff like that da -da 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 -da. this guy asks uh, does it depend heavily on whether you use iron, si iron sights or red dot sights? Now, this is a question that is kind of surprising. <laughs> I didn't really expect it. But yeah, the iron sights are actually great in this game. I didn't feel the need to run a red dot sight. And it was funny, the red dot sight in the, the alpha that I played, it actually didn't even work half the time. The, the dot would just disappear. If you remember back from Black Ops 2 when the microtransactions came out, um, it would not show up if you put one of those special camos on to your red dot site but yeah 
Uh, the red dot, dot sight is very sexy. It's just going to be like any Call of Duty, um, but iron sights are very viable. You know, the ARK-7, I believe it's called, has the Black Ops 1 AK-47 iron sights, and I just absolutely love them. And I love using iron sights in general, just because, you know, it just gives that gun its special feel, its uniqueness and stuff like that. You could really feel the recoil. Red dot sights are definitely useful, um, but I just like the iron sights more. But anyway, make sure you drop some more questions. I know I didn't answer hardly anything because there's just so much to go over. Um, but thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.